Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Spring Porter with Spring Solutions LLC. In this video, I'm going to be going over some questions that you should be asking a tax preparer or an attorney, and I'm going to be giving you um, a course update to the Bankruptcy Unclaimed Funds course. I've been getting a few questions about taxes and how you're supposed to list things. That is something that you really need to speak to your tax preparer about. You're going to have maybe a different LLC set up than I have, maybe different streams of income. I am no expert on taxes at all. Um, please make sure you are speaking to the person who is handling your taxes currently and let them know what it is that you're doing so that you're clear on whatever questions that you may have. All right, so I'm not going to give you legal advice and I am not going to give you tax advice. I am not the expert on those particular things. So if you're interested in learning what questions you should probably ask, please stay tuned. Hi everyone, thanks again for tuning into my channel. So as I mentioned this video, I'm going to be giving you some questions that you probably should be asking an attorney or a tax preparer probably prior to you getting incorporated or prior to you starting to get deals. Um, you're going to have to report you know, your income to the IRS, make sure you are aware of what your liabilities are, and that really determines on how you are incorporated. Or if even if you're doing this as an individual and not being incorporated, you want to know what your liabilities are. Talk to your tax preparer to make sure that they you are clear and they're clear on what you're doing. Um, the first thing that you want to ask your lawyer or maybe a tax preparer as well is what is your tax liability for the type of business that you have? Um, what are your responsibilities? How are you to report your income to the IRS with this type of business? Make sure you're clear. And also know what your deductions are. Uh, you have that nice little spreadsheet with all of your expenses on it. What can you actually use um, that you have on there? Do you know the size of your home? Make sure you're aware of that. What the room that you have, um, you know, what is the square footage of that? That's something that your tax preparer is going to want to know. Make sure you're clear on what you can include on that form and what you can't. Um, make sure you're aware of how you're supposed to treat your clients. What's a 1099 form? If you don't know what that is, you're going to have to research it. Ask your tax preparer, how do you fill it in? How do you fill it out? Make sure you're clear on what it is that you're doing um, before you start, you know, doing all of these transactions, make sure you're crystal clear on how you're supposed to report it. Don't wait till the last minute, till the end of the year. And you're like, oh my God, I got to do my taxes. And then you're running around trying to get all this together at one time. Um, find out what you need before and maybe set aside some time at the end of each month and go over your bills, your expenses for your particular business. Keep it in a spreadsheet. Make sure you keep clear copies of all of your receipts. Another thing, um, go over your Schedule C with the tax preparer. These forms, again, Schedule C, 1099, W-9, all those are found on uh, the IRS sites. Maybe go ahead and print them off, ask, you know, or write the questions that you have on there that you want to ask the tax preparer and just get that, you know, ready. Another thing, again, as I mentioned, along with your receipts, you want to keep copies of all of your um contracts with your clients, even if they paid you and invoices, even if they paid you directly and it was just a small amount under $600, doesn't matter. Keep kept copies of everything that you have. You never know when it could come up again. So, and maybe um, have access to your, you know, bank statements if you need to. Um, if you have, if you're using Cash App, PayPal on occasion, make sure you're able to retrieve documents later, um, maybe toward the end of the month or the end of the year, maybe print everything off for that particular month and then save it in a folder or wherever you keep your financial records. Um, another thing that I wanted to go over is just a closed file letter that I'm going to be adding to the course. This is for the $500 bankruptcy unclaimed funds course. And basically I'm utilizing this. Um, again, it's the first quarter of the year. I'm cleaning out my case management files. I don't like things dangling from one year to the next. So there are some leads that never really turned into um, clients. I reached out to them. I sent them a contract. They said they were interested initially, and then they never got it back to me. And so I reached out to them. I called them. I emailed them, and I still haven't gotten anywhere. So I'm going to send this letter out, and basically it's closing out the file. It's giving them a time frame um, to when they're supposed to have the documents back. Otherwise, I'm just going to close the file. And hopefully um, this will prompt them to give you the information once and for all. Or, you know, you just close it out and it's a way to kind of clean out your, your old files. 
Um, so I just want to put that out there. It's totally up to you. You create your own company policies on how, you know, what date, what time frame you want to put on there. That's totally up to you. You don't have to ask me what you should put on those particular letters. That's up to you. I'm just giving you a template. And again, you are creating your own business. So you put on there what you would like to happen. So I hope that this video was helpful in terms of taxes. I am not a tax preparer or an attorney. You need to make sure that you are crystal clear um, with your tax preparer and what your liabilities are. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe to this video if you have not done so already. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.